two, three, three. Everybody, let's go. Howdy, what's going on, support so close sir. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Welcome back, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And today, we're checking out something a little bit different, something that I was just browsing on the YouTube, going down the rabbit hole, and it just was there. The algorithm, the title of the video. I was like, I kind of want to check this out. It's from somebody we've seen before, Sunny V2. Does these kind of video essay slash documentary style videos, and just kind of breaks down random people on the internet, whether it's influencers, somebody famous. I feel like he always summarizes the conflict very easily for somebody that has no idea what's going on. And by the title, how a pro gamer successfully faked his own death. I mean, I'm already on board. And then he just happens to add in for the dumbest reason. If you're not feeling good about yourself, it's always fun to watch dumb people do dumb things. And then you're like, hmm, I don't have it so bad. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to see a pro gamer move, drop the L hit the bell. Let's get right into this. On the 5th of July, 2011, this 2011. account will be registered that was the same to the year YouTube we created platform going by the, the name of SketchEck. The owner of this fresh a new month channel before. would go on to become a Team Fortress 2 professional, widely considered to be one so of the best players around. in the game's 15 year history. So when he would sadly die unexpectedly only four years later in 2015, his audience and the entire Team Fortress 2 community were understandably devastated. Extensive tribute videos were posted to YouTube dedicated to SketchEck's incredible skill level. Users on Reddit would pour their hearts out in threads that discussed how SketchEck had influenced their playstyle, all while the developers of Team Fortress 2 would add a weapon attribute to the game in memory of Dude, SketchEck's guy, life. It's safe to say no one expected legend. that this whole thing might have been a hoax after it all began in June 2015 when SketchEck uploaded a video explaining that he had been going in and out of hospital whilst dealing with an unspecified long-term illness. Hey, I'm the guy that runs this channel. Most of you probably know me as SketchEck. Um, I'm going to try being as straightforward and honest as I can. I've been very sick and very busy for the past few months, spending every day either bedridden or going in and out of the hospital with no time to play TF2 or make videos or anything like that. I don't want to reveal too much information about my illness, but the doctors are saying that I probably don't have a lot of time left. At best, I've got about a year before my condition gets so bad that I'll need constant life support, and my chances of recovery are looking uh, low. This background so music is a little distracting. Of my I'll say. Understanding of While the all this serious time, stuff is being said, I'm quitting video games and leaving YouTube. Prior to uploading this video, SketchEck had racked up 12,000 subscribers on his channel. And while this didn't make him the biggest YouTuber on the platform, as mentioned previously, he was TF2. extremely well known within the Team Fortress 2 niche, specifically as a professional TF2 pyro player needs with more over 8,000 hours of playtime across a six year period. In comments, he was referenced as God of all pyros, the best pyro in the world, and the only pyro main I could respect, which is why no one wow. suspected anything. By a Germa fan. He was respected, his channel was growing, and why would he want to quit the game out of the blue if he was one of the best in the world. Yeah, Under the assumption no that this life-threatening illness was real, the video would be shared to Reddit receiving over 1,400 upvotes on a post titled SketchEck is leaving YouTube from what is most probably a terminal illness, which was met with a high level of support from the community at That's large. What it sounded terminal like illness is extremely saddening. I don't know how people deal with it. I mean, man, I wish SketchEck all the best. There's really a slim chance, but I really hope SketchEck can somehow recover. I think I cried a little. This is really sad oh, news. Man. I loved how creative he was in the game. Love you, SketchEck. Thank you for your videos. Others Dude, went everybody loves this guy. about a potential charity that they could donate to in order to support him financially. Oh Always God. saddening to hear people suffering from terminal illness. I wish for the best for him and his family during this time. Does anyone know of a charity for his illness? I'd like to donate if there is. Dude, random strangers on the internet, as evil as some can be, majority, I gotta say, really just want to do something good for somebody else. And I've seen it so many times and this is just another case 
is. It should also be mentioned people. that the community was it's extra vulnerable together, to the announcement as only okay. five months earlier in January 2015, another TF2 YouTuber by the name of Kitty0706 had also passed away from cancer. I love in comments of this one reading, Some first it's Kitty, best, now it's this, not my WTF. I want to cure cancer so I can keep watching these people's videos. I remember, However, I remember while most were happened. incredibly supportive, the more cynical and in retrospect, the wiser amongst those in the comment section seemed a little more skeptical about this illness that he was going on about. We'd have to know the illness first. As the audience was discussing the news with a mixed yet mostly positive response, his health continued to deteriorate, or so he claimed. It was a little suspicious that after the initial announcement stating that he didn't have much longer to live, he continued to upload TF2 videos as if nothing had ever happened. However, each video mm. was pretty short in length and wouldn't have been super labor intensive to produce, so it was certainly possible that he could have continued to make content whilst also being incredibly well, why sick. The other thing that was notably video. bizarre was that shortly after announcing his illness, it became possible to support SketchX's channel as long as you donated using yen, the Japanese currency. English was clearly his first language spoken mm. in a relatively strong Australian accent. That Therefore, is a what little was the sussy. deal with his support currency being That's in a little Japanese? Sussy. Was he living there or something? At this point, it was insignificant, but later it would become a vital piece of information. However, equally vital was SketchX's next announcement, being that he had become so sick, he was unable to make videos or even play TF2 at all. The announcement would come in a video titled Closure, uploaded six months after he'd first enlightened his audience about his terminal illness, this time discussing how much worse it had become. <sighs> oh well, this is it, folks. Oh, no, no, no. This is not, is this him? Is this his commentary? We're talking about a guy who's going to an impending doom, and he's starting that whole thing off with a whelp. It had become. <sighs> Welp. This is it, folks. This is how it ends. I'm very ill. My health is gradually deteriorating. And the clock is ticking, so to speak. I simply cannot afford to spend Even any the more time than I already have seems... maintaining the channel. This is my absolute Just final weird. video to say goodbye before I stop using this account. So, feel free to unsubscribe if you haven't already. There will be no more videos coming from this channel. Farewell. Following this video, SketchX social media presence was seized entirely. The delivery there were no more uploads to his YouTube channel, now. no more tweets to his Twitter, and zero additional hours played on his Team Fortress account. It seems account. not genuine. The silence continued for two years with absolutely no it news, at which point the community will come to the consensus that SketchX deterioration and subsequent silence must have indicated that he had died. He released a PSA saying he had an almost certainly terminal illness, and that even if he survived, he would not resume making videos. That is to say, he almost certainly passed away. Tribute videos began to pop up on YouTube such as this one with over 60,000 views titled SketchX Wannabe, which began by stating in honor of SketchX whilst displaying a TF2 RIP gravestone in the thumbnail. The degree to which to SketchX get really impacted mad? the community was cemented even further when, in memory of SketchX, the developers of Team Fortress 2 would add an attribute called SketchX Bequest to one of his signature weapons, immortalizing SketchX within the Dude, game forever. even the developers and added, added, like a added a little memorial to him. Which I thought was really, really nice. I really like that. At this point, Sketchek might have felt baffled that things had gone this far. Alternatively, maybe he was feeling smug about having gotten away with a crime, so to speak. However, either way, yeah, it, it would seems, be with one Reddit like comment in May crime. 2017 that the community began to question whether or not Sketchek was actually dead. If you want a small conspiracy, oh, following what the trail. items have left his backpack, ending up uh -oh. in another backpack owned by someone named Will. Even some minuscule items like refined oh, metal. Go. Some of the names Will has had seem very sketchek -y, and the account is relatively active, last online New adjectives are being made ago. too. The guy seems to have SketchX Nappa's respite in some gift wrap too, so maybe this guy was just a friend of SketchX. Hard to say, really. I still While it was certainly it. bizarre Why that would items were being it? traded out of SketchX Team Fortress account, it wasn't really a smoking gun that screamed, hey, this dude isn't really dead, as SketchX might right. have simply given his password to a friend before quitting, who was now right. trading the items, considering some time had passed since his apparent death. However, it wasn't only the items on SketchX Team Fortress account, indicating that maybe he wasn't dead. Further evidence will come to light in a forum post which read, SketchX illness video set to private, which explained that out of the blue, the two videos in which SketchX would discuss his sickness were unlisted from his channel entirely. Previously, it wasn't impossible <laughs> to theorize private, that someone else buddy. was tampering with his TF2 account. Way back However, machine. when activity was also spotted on his YouTube account, the pattern suggested that maybe SketchX himself wasn't really buried six foot deep, which would be supported further in January 2019, when a video would pop up on YouTube titled with two words that would shatter every single past assumption, 
about what had happened to the legend, Skechek confirmed. In this video, a player can be seen toward the top of the leaderboard by the name of Skechek with the same profile picture as the original. After being killed by Skechek, but why would he be dumb video, enough? Bucci would find himself involved in a message exchange with his oh. friend reading, dude, it's him, bro, it's him. To which the friend would type, okay, record, he wouldn't dare. Before Bucci would respond once again with, I'll try, I'm name? recording. In light of this video, out of curiosity, players began to add Skechek's account on Steam, which is where oh. things took a little bit of a bizarre turn. Those who added his Steam account began to receive this cryptic message, which led to a video on SketchX channel titled oh, TXT. Man. In the tags of this TXT video, there was a link which led to a now privated video with more cryptic Japanese text, translating to Mr. Frog only knows frog language. SketchX oh, would then send more gifts now. to those who added him on Steam. The next one relating to a Twitter this account, like once again named in Japanese text, Levels. translating to the frog with the banana peel, as displayed in the original SketchX profile picture. The Twitter account would then post a tweet stating that his audience needed to unfreeze the watermelon, then everything will be understood, which was accompanied by a JPEG image of a frozen thawing watermelon. Users then realized that by pasting the JPEG of the watermelon into WinRAR, that it would create a demo file, leading to a website with nothing but the signature SketchX frog and an what empty text happening? box which required a password. Upon entering the password, a pastebin link would appear, leading to a string of binary text, which when decoded, would oh lead gosh. to an unlisted video stating that SketchX was about to return to YouTube. What As the God. Team Fortress community began to discuss his return, SketchX would log back into his original Twitter account before making a post reading, kept you waiting, huh? Followed by a video on YouTube two days later, oh, explaining like this, that though. he was never sick in the first place. About three years ago, I announced but that I had contracted a non-specific terminal illness. I want everyone to know that was a lie. It was a oh. sick joke. It was a ruse. I was never ill, not even a little bit. He'd then gone to explain the motive behind faking his own death. I was in Japan for an extended period of time. When I was in Japan, I had a really good time. And somewhere along the way, I uh, came to the conclusion that video games had ruined my life. And that was when I decided you just to shut say down that? the channel. But I also wanted to go out with a bang, I guess you could say. And then I came up with the idea of faking my death because I knew that would draw. Oh, I don't know. Man, that is just bad. Like, one of the worst things he could have ever done. A lot of attention. Before coming to the inevitable conclusion three and a bit years later, that he wanted to continue making videos on TF2. He was already a legend! TF2. People were, a couple weeks in the ago, game. I was playing TF2, was thinking about some stuff, and I decided I wanted to come back to the channel and reveal the truth to everyone. And while this objectively marks SketchX's return, whether or not it was welcomed with open arms is another Yikes. question. I feel kind of half and half on this situation. I love SketchX for what he did for me as a pyro main, but lying about terminal illness isn't cool. Happy to see him back, but honestly, a shitty thing to do. Videos were also uploaded to YouTube addressing this ethical problem of, well, he's one of the best in the game and, just and his way of genuinely sorry. Just the way of him going about it. All the cryptic stuff to them leading to paste bin to a binary code to show another video to prove that he's still alive and he's returning. Like, that's just such a weird reveal. But does this excuse him blatantly faking his death for attention? It's a sick joke, of course, but it's one that he's probably had he monetary even gains from, even if it's just a few hundred dollars, it. you know. And still, for me, that just makes the whole thing feel a bit more awkward and uncomfortable for me in terms of like dismissing it as a big old joke. The more forgiving among SketchX right. audience were simply looking forward to right. some new content in comments such as, "Hey, welcome back, and hope you got some sick content ready. Hope all the negativity in this thread." Yeah, was no, set. he already got the sick content out of the way. Oh, your return. However, others were to the effort of writing full-blown paragraphs about why SketchX was in the wrong, one of which referencing the weapon within TF2, which had been named as a tribute to the legendary Pyro Main. SketchX bequest, lose all community respect for lying to us all. I hope they change the extinguisher soon. I'm so disappointed. I can't be angry, but I'm unbelievably disappointed. I'm glad you decided to come clean and you're going to be hated, but it takes guts to admit you're wrong. Still, extremely disappointed. Petitions were also created on the Steam forum such as this one, and subsequently the SketchX bequest attribute was removed silently in the month that followed. In spite of all the hate, SketchX viewership was luckily supported by his skill as a pyro player, as opposed to what you might call his ethical compass, and therefore mm. upon returning, his videos would surprisingly receive as many, if not more views, as when he disappeared almost four years prior. So While almost all of, of these fake social media stunts generally damage the career of whichever influencer is in question, SketchX somehow managed to do the opposite. Mm. And then the video just ends on that, dude. <laughs>
Yo, Sonny's kind of a savage for that. On one hand, I totally understand everybody that hates the dude now and probably knows somebody that has gotten cancer, has gotten ill. Just to use it as a joke is wrong on all fronts. It's just wrong. When he made the reveal video, it just didn't feel like he was sorry in any capacity. His voice was pretty much that same monotone voice from his other videos. The delivery was the same. But at the end of the day, his skill is eclipsing any of his wrongdoing. And honestly, if he never made the self-exposed video, he could have just rode off into the sunset with that kind of TF2 glory and his name solidified in the game like that, but he decided to give it up. So in a weird way, I kind of respect him for exposing himself. It doesn't make him a good dude, but it definitely gives him an opportunity to get a second chance. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought about this Sunny V2. Check out the video in the description down below and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Jigum and Perkum.